Hi, my name is Jillian King Cargyle, and I am the director of NIU STEM Read and the author of the Stuffed Bunny Science Adventure Series. The Toy in the Tide Pool is book two in the Stuffed Bunny Science Adventure Series. What I was really excited to write about was oceans and ocean creatures. I spent a lot of time growing up on the Jersey Shore because my grandparents lived in Sea Isle. And so we would go out there all the time and I just loved the ocean. I loved swimming in the ocean. I loved all of the different interesting sea creatures that were there. So I was really excited to do something that was in that setting. The bad guy in the story is a seagull. Seagulls, if you've ever been to the shore or eaten anything anywhere near seagulls, you know that they are very aggressive. We have a lot of stories about seagulls taking things out of our hands, and so I thought that would be the perfect villain to come in and just swoop down and separate Bear and Jack. When I was looking at creatures to put in the tide pool, I talked to some marine biologists, and they were like, you have to put an octopus in because they're in the tide pool, they're amazing, they're the smartest animals around, they can change color and camouflage, they can squeeze into something the size of its beak, and I was like, oh yeah, we're having an octopus in there. Sea cucumbers, they said sea cucumbers are cool and disgusting. When they're trying to get away from an enemy, they can disembowel themselves, they can basically shoot their guts out and then get away from the predator and regrow their, their guts. So, so I was like, yes, we have to have one of those. Another creature that I was really excited to include was the rock boring sea urchin um, because they spend their days chewing on rocks. So they chew, 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 and then they poop out sand. <laughs> so, you know, anything that eats rocks and poops out sand, that's going in the book. So there are so many crazy, interesting things in tide pools that I wanted to include. We think about what life might be like on other planets. We really don't have to look any farther than the ocean to find all of these creatures that are so different and so alien to what we're used to. Life is so harsh on the seashore too. It's, it's a beautiful place that we like to vacation and we like to play, but there's these creatures that live there and they're dealing with this, this pounding water coming through and the water changing throughout the day, the water levels changing. And so it's just these fascinating creatures that are, that are right there where we vacation and where we play. And I want people to be aware of them and just, just learn more about all of the cool things that are happening in our world.